Hello students, how are you today? I hope you're all doing great. In this video, we will learn our grammar lesson, which is in Unit 6, Week 5. All you have to do is to prepare your grammar booklet. Are you ready? Let's start. Our lesson today is called Prepositions. Say after me, Prepositions. Prepositions. Look at this picture. Do you know what's this? Yes, it's a bridge. And do you know what is the function of the bridge? The bridge connects. It either connects lands, islands, streets. Look at this picture. It's a bridge too. And a bridge connects two things together. So, do you think our lesson today is about bridges? Well, of course not. It's about prepositions. And prepositions act as a bridge in a sentence. Let's see how. A preposition connects the noun with the rest of the sentence. For example, here we have, let's imagine that we here we have the rest of the sentence. And here we have a gap, a space, and the noun. For example, I put my book my backpack. Do you think something is missing here? Yes, we need a word that connects the rest of the sentence with the noun. We need a word that connects I put my book, my backpack. So remember, in the space we should add the bridge or in other words we should add a preposition. Who can answer or can, who can fill this blank? I put my book, my backpack. You can pause my video and tell me what should we write here. Did you know? Well, the answer is, I put my book in my backpack. So, in is a bridge. In is a preposition. Sparky likes to rest the floor. Look at Sparky. Look how cute Sparky is. Well, we need to add a preposition here. We need to connect the sentence together. Pause my video and answer my question. What should we add here? Sparky likes to rest on the floor. That's great. On. So, until now, we learned two prepositions, in and on. Let's complete. So, prepositions can talk about place, time, I'm sorry, here I should add a comma because I'm listing, place, time, or movement. Let's see prepositions that show time, uh, sorry, place, on, over, at, in, around, under, below, above, behind. All of these words are prepositions that shows place. For example, Judy enjoys skating the lake. Something is missing and we need to connect using a bridge or a preposition. Pause my video and solve the sentence. Did you know the answer? Okay, let's check together. Judy enjoys skating around the lake. Look how she is moving around the lake. So, around is a preposition that shows place. Prepositions can talk about time as well. So we're done with the places. Now let's talk about prepositions that talk about time. There are just three. Before, during, after. Before, during, after are bridges or let's say prepositions. For example, she swims every day the summer. Sentence, the sentence should be connected using a preposition. What should we add here? Oh, I can't think because it's very... I really like to swim. 
<laughs> okay, so she swims every day this summer. Can you add a preposition here? Yes, it's during. During is a preposition that shows time. Prepositions can also express movement. So, it's not only places, it's not only time, it's also movement. It's, for example, through, towards, to, into, across, and along. All of those words are prepositions. For example, the boy went his grandma's house. What should we add here? Which preposition? The boy went to. That's great. To. The boy went to his grandma's house. Other prepositions are about, of, and from. You need to memorize those three because they call them random prepositions. Just you need to memorize them. About, of, and from. For example, a preposition might come in the beginning of the sentence. Remember, all the examples we've discussed before, the preposition is in the, in the middle. The bridge is in the middle of the sentence. But sometimes it might come in the beginning, so don't be confused. Look at this part. Bridge, then the noun, then the rest of the sentence. Let's go down. The bridge, the, the, the place of the bridge is empty. Dinner, I enjoyed reading a book. What dinner, I enjoyed reading a book. After dinner, after dinner, I enjoyed reading a book. Look at the preposition. It's in the beginning of the sentence. It's not always in the middle. Remember. So now you can open your grammar booklet, page 146. And let's solve this together. I will solve the first one with you as usual, and you'll solve the other nine alone. They're asking you to underline the preposition in each sentence and write it down on the line. Super easy. My dad brought home plans for a picnic table. Where is the preposition? Yes, the preposition is for. So they said underline the preposition and write it down. Oops, sorry. And write it down on the line. Can you solve the other nine alone? I'm sure you can. Now when you're done, let's move to the other page, which is page 146. They said underline the prepositional phrase. Underline the prepositional phrase in the following sentences. What is a prepositional phrase? Wow! <laughs> Let me erase this. Wait. A prepositional phrase is a whole phrase. It's not one word. It's a group of words. Let, I will show you what, what I mean. Number one, last weekend, Uncle Dan and I went on a hike. Where is the preposition? When I ask you for the preposition, it's just one word. It's on. That's great. On. What about the prepositional phrase? The whole phrase. On a hike. You start from the preposition and until the end of the sentence. So this is the prepositional phrase and this is the preposition. Did you get it? So the prepositional phrase is from the preposition until the end of the sentence. Now when you're done, open page 148. This one is super easy and it's not about preposition. It's a revision for commas lesson. They said rewrite each sentence, add a comma after the introductory words in the sentence. What's an introductory word? It's the words that comes in the beginning of the sentence and needs a comma after it. Number one, yes, we had a great time on our camping trip. Where is the introductory word? Yes, it's yes. Yes is the introductory word. Where should we add the comma? It's always after the introductory word. So the comma should be here. Solve the other four alone and we are done with our grammar lesson. Thank you so much for listening and I hope it's clear. See you next time. Bye-bye.